Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to discuss the example for function n graph. Function f and g, each with the domain, we have x greater than negative 1. Or define for the situation, we have fx which is equal to ln bracket 1 plus x and the gx where we have 1 plus the x squared. So sketch the graph of each function and state their range. So kindly refers to the function fx. We have the ln 1 plus with the x. Step number one is to find the domain 1 plus with the x greater than 0. So x greater than negative 1. So the domain would be start from negative 1 until infinity when the negative 1 is not included. Step number two, x is equal to negative 1 as a asymptote. Continue. Step number three, we need to find the direction. So by referring to the situation, we have the coefficient for x, which is the positive 1. So the graph will be moving towards the right. Step number 4, we have the situation. Situation number 1, where we have the case, which is passed by the negative y, followed by 0, then followed by the positive y. So we name it as situation A, B, and C. So in order to determine, we have to find the y-intercept when x is equal to 0. So if we substitute, the f0, which is equal to ln 1. So the value of y is also equal to 0. So for this case, b will be the situation for this function. So can I illustrate the situation? So from here, we notice that we have the situation x is equal to negative 1. So the graph will be something like this, where we have fx is equal to ln bracket 1 plus with the x. The coordinate, we have 0, 0. So kindly refers to the graph, we have the domain, which is negative 1 until infinity. Negative 1 is not included. Refers to the range, and we have negative infinity until infinity. So that is the first situation. Sketch the graph and state the range. Next, we are going to focus on the gx. So kindly refers to the situation, we have gx, which is equal to x squared plus the 1. So it's a quadratic graph refers to the situation, number one, we have the shape. So the shape will be U shape. Number two, find the x intercept means that when y is equal to zero. So when y equals to zero, we have the b squared minus 4ac. Can you substitute the b? We have the x squared plus with the zero x plus with the one. So a is equal to one, b is equal to zero, c is equal to one. So b squared, where we have the 0, minus 4, a, and then c. So the value is negative 4, which is less than 0, meaning that no real root. Continue. Next, in order to find the y-intercept, x must be equal to 0. So the value of y is equal to 1. So we have the coordinate 0, 1. Step number 3, we have the standard form. gx is equal to x squared plus 1, where we have the minimum point, which is equal to 0 and 1. The symmetrical axis, x is equal to 0. So kindly refers to the graph. So we have to sketch the graph. First of all, we have the U shape. And then we have the uh, Y intercept, where we have 0, 1. So let's say here 0, here we have 1. So the coordinate, 0, 1. Continue. We have the minimum point, 0, 1 as well. Then the symmetrical axis, we have x is equal to 0 or the y-axis. Next, the question mentions that x is greater than negative 1. So meaning that if we substitute negative 1, and we will have the value 2. So let's say here we have the 2. So here we have the negative 1. So the coordinate will be somewhere around here. Continue. The graph will be something like this, where we have gx is equal to x squared plus it to 1. So it refers to the question, the domain for the g we have the negative 1 until infinity, where the negative 1 is not included. As for the range for g, refers to the value y, the lowest value is 1. So meaning that start from 1 until infinity would be the range. Kali refers to the second question, shows that an inverse function f inverse is exists. Hence, find the f inverse and sketch the graph. By referring to the graph, we have to draw a horizontal line. So let's say we have this one as a horizontal line. So let's say we have y is equal to 4. And notice that we have the situation. 
then we can say that it cuts only one point. Then we can say fx is one-to-one -one function. So from here, we can say that, or we can say it inverse function for fx exists. So that is the situation. Hence, find the f inverse and sketch the graph. So in here, we have to find the f inverse. So let y is equals to fx. f inverse of the y is equals to x. So y is equals to ln bracket 1 plus with the x. So exponent y is equals to 1 plus x. Then x is equals to exponent y minus 1. So the f inverse of x is equals to exponent x minus 1. So here we have the f inverse. Next is to sketch the graph. So first of all, Focus on the situation where we have the f inverse of x, which is equal to exponent x. So the first graph where we have the situation y equals to 0 as asymptote. So the graph will be something like this. So y is equal to exponent x, where we have the intersection point, which is 0, 1. Next, focus on the situation dimensions that we have the f inverse minus with the 1. So meaning that we have to drop down one unit. So again, we have the situation graph something like this. Y, X. So the horizontal asymptote would be Y is equal to negative 1. Then the point 0, 1 will drop to 0, 0. So the graph will be something like this. So F inverse of X is equal to exponent X minus with the 1. So that is the graph for the F inverse. Then, state the possible largest interval of the x such that g inverse exists. So, it refers to the situation. Here we have a horizontal line. Let's say we have y equals to 1.5. So, notice that we have these two points. So, we can say it cut more than one point. So, the gx is not one to one function. Then we can say g inverse of x does not exist. So we already shows that g inverse does not exist. Next, refers to the question, state the possible largest interval of x such that the g inverse exists. So for this case, we have to refer to the minimum point or we can consider the symmetric axis. So from here, state the domain of g so that the situation become one to one function so it means that we have to eliminate the situation on the left hand side so the domain for g would be start from the zero until infinity so for this case the situation become one to one function and the g inverse exists kindly focus on the situation b given the fx is equal to tangent 4x so we have tangent 4x kindly compare with the situation, we have a tangent bracket bx plus with the c. Number one, can we focus on the factor? So where we have modulus of a. So in this case, the a is 1. Number two, the period with the formula 2 pi over modulus 2b. So focus on this part, the b is 4. So here we have 2 pi over 4, then we have pi over 2. So that is the period. Continue, we have the phase shift. Where we have the formula negative c over b. So for this case, the c is 0. Then the b, we have 4. So negative 0 over 4, where we have 0 as well. Next, we are going to find the x-intercept. So meaning that when y equals to 0, so tangent 4x is equals to 0. So 4x is equals to 0, we have the basic angle. Then continue, we have the range. So based on the situation given, we have negative 3 pi over 8. 
By using the calculator, we have the range negative 67.5. Another one, 3 pi over 8, when we have 67.5. So multiply by the 4x, so we have negative 270 until 270 angle. So that is the range. Continue, refers to the diagram. So here we have the situation. So tangent positive, so we have quadrant 1 and quadrant 3. Basic angle, 0. Then based on the rotation in here, we have negative 270. So let's say we have here, negative 270. So move until this part, we have negative 90, then 0. Then repeat, we have 180 and then 270. So number 1, where we have the situation in here. So 4x is equal to negative 180. And then second part, this one, we have the 0. And then this one, the third part, where we have 180. So x will be equal to, divide by 4, we have negative 45. And then 0. And then 45. So that is the x intercept. Continue. Refers to the situation. So here we have the domain for the function f. So if it's a tangent x, so the domain we have to focus the asymptote and pi over 2. If it's a tangent 2x, then we have n pi over 4. If it's a tangent 4x, then we have n pi over 8. So where the n odd integer. So for example, let's say here we have the first asymptote. Then here we have another vertical asymptote. For example, if we substitute negative 3 and we have negative 3 pi over 8. Then followed by the negative 3, after that we have negative 1. So here we have negative pi over 8. So continue. Here we have pi over 8 because n is equal to 1. Next, n is equal to 3. So we will have the situation 3 pi over 8. So based on the situation in here, we have negative 45. So let's say here we have the situation, negative 45, and then here we have the 0, then here we have the 45. So the graph will be something like this. So that is the graph for the fx is equal to tangent 4x. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to this channel and share this video to your friend. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.